Today, let's look at panels in Review 21. Panels contain in-depth features that require special interfaces. Panels are found on the left side of the main workspace in Review. They can be repositioned to sit at the bottom or right side of the main workspace. You can differentiate between a panel or a toolbar by the following properties. A toolbar will always have a string of dots near its top or left side called a handle. After selecting a toolbar icon, the dynamic properties toolbar becomes active. Panel icons and toolbar icons cannot be positioned within the same rows. Certain panels are visible in the review interface by default, depending on the profile you're using. To enable or disable a panel, from the menu bar, go to Window, and select Panels. Here you can choose to show or hide the panel you need or don't need. This menu also provides you with a keyboard shortcut for each panel for quickly showing or hiding them. When a panel is enabled, you can place or combine them in a variety of ways. Drag any panel icon to the left, right, or bottom of the main workspace. Drag a panel icon to the main workspace, and then release it to create a floating panel. Floating panels hover over the main workspace and allow you to work while retaining access to the panel. You can drag additional panel icons into the floating panel. Drag a panel icon over any open panel, and you'll see a circle with four arrows. Move the panel icon over one of the arrows, and the panel will split in your chosen direction. Splitting panels allows you to have multiple panels open at the same time. A split panel displays a gray line underneath its icon. To undo split panel mode, drag the lower panel icon to another area in the panel row. Right-click a panel icon to access the context menu. Select Hide to remove the panel from the panel row. To quickly move a panel to an area of your choosing, select Attach, and then, choose from either left, right, bottom or detach. Any arrangement of toolbars and panels can be saved to a profile. To save your panel and tab arrangement to your active profile, from the menu bar go to Review, scroll to Profiles and click on Save Profile. To change your active profile, from the menu bar, select Review. Scroll to Profiles and choose a default or previously saved profile. To edit or delete profiles, from the menu bar, go to Review, scroll to Profiles, and click on Manage Profiles. Thank you for watching. We hope you found the video useful. You can visit our website, www.brightergraphics.com, for more videos in the how-to series and all things Bluebeam Review. We at Brighter Graphics, welcome your feedback to help us to improve.